the Jews saw that Jesus had power. He had the power of a cook. He had the power of a baker. He had the power of a waiter. He had the power of a restaurant owner. He could feed. Today, let us talk about power. Let us be reminded that all power comes from God. That separated from God, no one can ever have power. So, when power is used outside the plan of God, you cannot call that power at all. There is no power to sin. There is no power to lie. There is no power to murder. There is no power to steal. There is no power to rape. There is no power to use the body of another human being for yourself. There is no power to curse. There is no power to lead other people to sin. There is no power that gives you right to scandalize other people. There is no power to blaspheme God. There is no power to calumniate others. These are abuses of power and they are not from God. Brothers and sisters, if God would look at all the abuses of power that we have done in the world, that the world has done from the very beginning, from Adam and Eve. If I were God, I would destroy the world already. But the reality, my dear brothers and sisters, is with all the abuses, with all the attacks against God, with all the violations of the commandments, with all the murder and the stealing and the corruption, and the vulgarity and the cursing that we see in the world, God does not use His power to stop us. How come? A French writer named Leon Bloy said, God will not use the power of a ruler or a king to stop our abuses of power. Even if you attack Him, even if you attack God, God will only defend Himself two ways. Two ways. The defense of God is patience, and the second defense of God is beauty. With all the abuses, the criminality, the sin in the world, God defends Himself from us by His patience and by His beauty. That is the Gospel. The Lord had been teaching the apostles for days and months and years already. And He saw the vast crowd. They were hungry. 5,000 men not including children, not including women. 5,000 men. And the Lord wanted to feed them. And the Lord expected an act of faith from them. But instead of professing an act of faith, what did the apostles say? 200 days of salary will not be enough to feed them. They saw the numbers, they saw the money, but they did not see the power of the Lord. Did the Lord scold them? Did the Lord rebuke them? Did the Lord scratch His head and said, Ano ba yan? No. The Lord defended Himself by patience. And what did the Lord do to, def to defend Himself from the indifference, from the uncaring of the apostles. He gave them beauty, the beauty of food. 
the beauty of free lunch, the beauty of a shared meal in abundance that there was left over. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, I am sure you have heard the gospel about the multiplication of loaves. But I would like to open your eyes to the reality that this is teaching us about power. The power of God to multiply bread. The power of God to multiply fish. I say it again. There is no power to abuse. There is no power to sin. There is no power to lead other people to sin. There is no power to lie. There is no power to deceive. There is no power to cheat. There is no power to abuse others. But in spite of all this, the defense of the Lord against His honor that we attack is patience and beauty. What is the lesson for us? My father used to tell me during difficult times, Tiisin mo yan. Tiisin mo yan, lilipas din yan. Yung baha sa labas, bababa din yan. Yung masasamang tao, mamamatay din yan. Yung krimen, yung panloloko, yung kasinungalingan, magwawakas din yan. In other words, we already know that the final chapter of our life story is always glorious and happy. Tiis-tiis lang, lilipas din yan sapagkat ang lahat ng masama ay magwawakas. Ang lahat ng sinungaling ay mawawala. Ang lahat ng manluloko, ang lahat ng nagmumura, matatapos din yan. Pero ang pagmamahal ng Diyos, walang katapusan. Kapag nakikita natin ang kapangitan ng kasalanan, kapag nakikita natin yung kapangitan ng mandarambong na nagpapayaman, Kapag nakikita natin na ang mga maliliit ay nalilito dahil sa kung ano-anong fake news ang ipinapakalat, labanan natin ang lahat ng ito ng kagandahan ng katotohanan. Tell the truth even if everybody seems to lie and the liars seem successful. Serve with love and humility even if the proud and the arrogant seem to be lording it over us. Choose to be beautiful in simplicity, in holiness, in obedience to the commandments, in service of the poor. Ang lahat ng ito, ang ating self-defense sa lahat ng masasamang nakikita natin. We have power. We do not have power to hurt. We have power to heal. We have power to be patient. We have power to be beautiful. I am beautiful. I am patient. And this is the way of the Lord. And I will never give up because I know that the story of all this corruption, all this lying, all this vulgarity, all this murder, all this stealing, the story will have a beautiful chapter ending. And the ending of it all is, Christ is victorious and sin will be conquered. The ugliness of abuse will come to an end. And only the patience and the beauty of God will shine through.